these images by Swedish artist Himmler af Klint were created in the early part of the 20th century, but it wasn't to be until decades later anyone was able to see her work. Before there was even a modernist movement to speak of, Af Klint has now been credited as the pioneer of the art form, predating even Kadinsky and Modrian, but her work was never to be seen in her lifetime. She made all of these in secret. She showed relatively few people. Um, one of the people she did show was Rudolf Steiner. She was a follower of his uh, um, his beliefs. She also then stipulated in her will that no one could look at her works for 20 years after she died. She died in 1944. And you know, one of the reasons um, for that was she felt that she wasn't, wouldn't be understood in her lifetime. And she wrote a lot about that, that she recognized that one day she would be a pioneer. And Rudolf Steiner said the same to her as well, but now was not her time. So in a way, she was almost painting for a future audience, for a future, future generation. Along with her associates known as The Five, it seemed they were answering to a higher being when it came to having their work commissioned. They would gather together and conduct seances and create sort of automatic writings and drawings which they believed were sort of communicated to them from these spirits which they termed high masters. And then one of these high masters um, commissioned, if you will, Af Klimt to create the paintings for the temple. And that uh, consists of about 193 works, and that's really the focus of the exhibition here um, at the Serpentine. With much of Af Klimt's work being done in secret, the attention that exhibitions like this one at the Serpentine Gallery in London are having is forcing some important conversations in the art world. We are all taught in art school and in art history that this is sort of very set trajectory and it's important to think actually there are so many that work outside of that and to actually try and champion that and to allow, you know, there aren't artists that fit the mould and there never have been artists that fit the mould. The cultural significance of her work and the world she was living in as it was created have led to an appreciation of how Afglint not only pioneered an art form but also how it made sense of scientific discoveries at the time. She was trying to paint unseen worlds, you know, the invisible from the smallest micro to the largest macro expanses of, of the universe. And so she is sort of painting things that are real to her and real to us, but more sort of this idea or essence of them and feeling of them and emotion of them. And so this term of abstraction is kind of, it's not so important or interesting when we think about Hilma Klimt. At her own request, almost all of her work was kept hidden until 20 years after her death. And despite being much longer still until they were shown on this level, it appears it was always in her thinking. She was uh, very conscious about her legacy, about sort of being understood um, in what she was trying to communicate and also being understood as an artist. I mean, one of the really interesting um, things that we found during this process is that she made these notebooks, you know, where after her paintings were done, she would paint sort of very small versions of her works and then photograph them. She made a sequence and order for each of her works so we knew exactly how to show them and hang them and what you know order they went in. So she, it was very sort of a conscious decision about how we would receive them and how we would, how we would understand them. Although reasonably well preserved, Afglint's paintings have undergone hours of restoration, leading to some of her most rare pieces being brought together for the first time. It's been more than 70 years since Hilda Afklint passed away and it's taken much of that time for her work to get the recognition it undoubtedly deserves. Now though, held by the Serpentine Gallery, she gets to take her place as one of the pioneers of modernist art. Adam Reed, TRT World.